All right. Last thing on rents is that uh, vacancy index has ticked up for the second straight month. So we're getting a little bit more or higher vacancy rates in the last last two months uh, than previous. But that said, we're currently at 4.1% vacancy. And in uh, March of 2020, we were actually it was April. We were up to 7.1. Yeah, I was going to say. So it went down quite a bit. Now it's starting to tick. What was it? Pre-pandemic averages about 6%. So it's still yeah. even low, you yeah, know, it's below still, that. Yeah, it's still pretty low. Yeah. Well, I think too, uh, once the moratorium got cut off and, in a lot of places. And it's going to be a little bit different in class of property. So a sure. class C property uh, may have a little bit uh, higher vacancy. Class B is going to have the lowest. And then class A is going to have uh, higher vacancy. probably the highest. Right. Because they're yeah. more expensive. And since everything else has gotten more expensive, it's going to be even tougher. Cost me ninety bucks to fill my car up yesterday. Ninety dollars. Well, that's what you get for I a, filled mine up having a bus. Ninety-eight <laughs> ninety-five is what it. Wow, that's your truck, right? That's my truck. Unbelievable. And uh, this time, what a year, year and a half ago, sixty bucks. I know. That's yeah. what's it's that's scary. 